Good morning. Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Jeffrey Smith with Honda North American Corporate Communications. Our two companies have some very exciting and truly historic news to share with you today. It's all about the future. But first, I would like to recognize our speakers and some of the other individuals you might want to know in relation to this announcement. Please hold your applause until I get to the end. First, we have as our guest, the Honorable Brian Kelly, Lieutenant Governor of the State of Michigan. We sincerely appreciate uh, your joining us today, sir. Uh, we understand that Governor Snyder is out of the country, so that makes you the state's acting chief executive. So for today, Governor, welcome. From General Motors, joining us is Mark Royce, Executive Vice President, Global Product Development, Purchasing and Supply Chain. Maybe raise your hand so they know. I know no one knows who you are, Mr. Roy. <laughs> uh, Alicia Bowler Davis, Executive Vice President, Global Manufacturing. Dan Nicholson, Vice President, Global Propulsion Systems. Thank you. And Charlie Fries, Executive Director, Global Fuel Cell Business. And from Honda, joining us is Toshiaki Mikishiba, President and CEO of American Honda Motor Company and Honda North America, and Chief Operating Officer of the North American Region for Honda Motor Company. Takashi Moria, Senior Chief Engineer of Honda Research and Development. Rick Shostak, Executive Vice President, Honda North America. Steven Center, Vice President of the Environmental Business Development Office and Product Regulatory Office of American Honda Motor Company. So thank you. It's kind of like the bride side and the groom side here. Now I have some quick housekeeping details. In a few moments, two of our respective companies' top executives will share the news with you. And then we'll hear from Michigan's Lieutenant Governor. And then we'll share what's under this cover here. We have a very brief photo session immediately following that. And then our executives and a few experts will conduct a Q&A so you can fully understand today's announcement. You should know that this newscast is being live streamed and will be recorded and available to you afterwards. And that images uh, will be available on our respective news sites immediately following the news conference. Also following this news conference, we will have a teleconference. That's a Q&A for those who could not join us in person this morning. And for any of you who want to listen, please contact the GM PR staff or the Honda PR staff, and they'll give you that number if you do want to call in. So to get things started, let me ask Mikishiba-san to come up here and share some of today's news. Mikishiba-san. Thank you, Jeffrey. And good morning, Lieutenant Governor Kelly and everyone. We are pleased to be in Detroit today to announce the latest step in our uh, equal partnership with General Motors. Over the past three years, engineers from Honda and GM have been working as one team, with each company providing know-how from its unique expertise to create a compact and low-cost next-generation fuel cell system. This foundation of our outstanding teamwork will now take us to the stage of joint mass production of a fuel cell system that will help each company create new value for our customers in fuel cell vehicles of the future. Today, we are pleased to announce that Honda and GM are establishing a new joint venture company, Fuel Cell System Manufacturing, that will produce a next generation fuel cell system here in Michigan. Based on our co-development, this new generation stack builds on the compact size and high performance of Honda's current generation stack by achieving significant cost reduction. It will be applied to distinct products from each of our companies. Honda has always been open to strategic partnerships that benefit our customers and society. The successful sharing of engineering expertise has led to this new joint venture between Honda and GM to do just that. The new joint venture will be operated by a board of directors consisting of three executives from each company. A president and executive vice president will, will be appointed from the respective partners to rotate between each company every two years. 
based on Honda's approach to build products close to our customers. We have nearly 40 years of manufacturing history in America with 12 US plants. As a result, the vast majority of the cars and trucks we sell here are built in America. We also wanted this new fuel cell system to be built in the United States. At this stage in the advancement of the technology, it is more efficient to have one operation building the fuel, system, fuel cell system for unique vehicles to be offered by each company. Last month, Honda began delivery of our third generation fuel cell vehicle in the United States, the all new Clarity fuel cell. This year, we also will debut the Clarity Electric and the Clarity Plug-in Hybrid to be sold in all 50 states. So, the future Honda vehicle that will be powered by the new co-developed system will be Honda's fourth generation fuel cell vehicle. We have established a challenging goal to make two thirds of our global sales from electrified vehicles by around 2030. Hydrogen fuel cell uh, vehicles are part of this plan because in our view, they represent the ultimate mobility solution with no compromise required from our customers. The driving performance and refueling experience are similar to a traditional gasoline vehicle. In addition to our joint efforts to build an advanced fuel cell system in Michigan, GM and Honda will continue to work together to further advance refueling infrastructure. This remains a critical step in the long-term viability and consumer acceptance of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Honda believes that hydrogen fuel cell vehicles can act as a core energy system to support a sustainable society and meet the needs of our customers. This shared commitment between Honda and GM is the foundation of new joint venture company. Now I would like to invite Dan Nicholson to make a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Mika Shibasan. And good morning, everyone. We appreciate you being here. GM and Honda have been working on fuel cell technology for an awfully long time. Our program is rooted in the Apollo space program of the 1960s, when we developed the world's first hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, the GM Electrovan. The technology has come a long way in 50 years, and the cost has come down dramatically because of efficiency and the reduction in precious metals needed. GM and Honda have both had fleets of fuel cell vehicles that accumulated millions of miles of real world experience driven by real customers in everyday driving situations. This all helped establish the starting point for something bigger. In July 2013, Honda and GM signed an agreement to work together on next generation fuel cells and hydrogen storage systems. At the time, it was reported as a pretty big deal, and rightly so. Two leaders in fuel cell patents and technology working together as one company with shared intellectual property and integrated development teams. Since that announcement, we've accomplished a lot together, and many intercontinental flight miles have been earned. With Honda's liaison office in Pontiac, Experts at both companies work together as one team in different time zones and locations to get us to where we are, our news today. Though there will continue to be skeptics, I think we can safely say that today's announcement officially marks the arrival of fuel cells. They're not a science project anymore. They're a mainstream alternative energy choice. Our common, Next generation fuel cell system is smaller and lighter, more reliable, more durable, and more refined. And it is much less complex than what came before it. 
By the start of the new decade, we will be mass producing fuel cell systems in the same location as the GM battery pack manufacturing plant in Brownstown, Michigan. The systems assembled there will eventually lead to nearly 100 new jobs. The flexible, scalable production will allow Honda and GM to use the output for their desired needs and to sell to others. At this point, I want to especially thank Governor Rick Snyder, represented here today by Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly, and the Michigan Strategic Fund, which approved $2 million in incentives to help support the project. These are the kind of jobs that will contribute to making Michigan a leader in future mobility. Mikoshiba-san has already told you how the joint venture will be structured and will be governed. This truly is a one company approach. Everything we have learned to advance the state of fuel cell manufacturing has been shared. The knowledge, the technological advancement, and of course, the intellectual property created. We are very excited for this partnership and we look forward to helping move fuel cell propulsion to the mainstream. Thank you very much. And now I would like to invite Lieutenant Governor Kelly to make a few remarks. The advancement of technology in the mobility industry is truly breathtaking. And partnerships like this, it wasn't too long ago when it didn't seem very realistic. And, and while technology sometimes moves faster than the ability to bring that technology to market because of is issues with respect to risk and bringing up uh, the product to scale, a strategic partnership such as what is being announced here today makes it a reality. And out of it comes all kinds of opportunity for, for doing away with this old choice between the economy and the environment. This is one where the advancement and the partnership is great for our economy and it's also over the long term great for our environment as well. And so we're very part, proud to partner, the state of Michigan is very proud to partner in this, uh, in this endeavor. And we are so thankful to Honda and to General Motors for making Brownstown the home of this joint venture. And we'll look forward to working with you in the future on ensuring that the cluster of activity, the brain power that is assembled in this region of our country and our world remains the epicenter in the future of the mobility industry. Thank you so much. Give them a moment to uh, adjust up here. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, hey, gentlemen, if you'd do the honors. So this is, uh, this is why it's all about the future. Introducing the General Motors Honda Next Generation Fuel Cell Stack. All right. Good. All right, good shot. <laughs> Smile. Okay, Senator Governor, thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Just give us a moment to uh, arrange the chairs. Thank you. Okay. So while the chairs are being positioned, uh, we'll get ready for some, some Q&A.